The year was 1974. Gas was 55 cents a gallon. President Gerald Ford pardoned Richard Nixon. The Sears Tower became the tallest building in the world. And a young family man by the name of Dr. Wes Tunnell came to work at what is now Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, to develop a new marine science program. Little did he know that nearly 40 years later, his passion for teaching and his love of the Gulf of Mexico would leave a legacy for generations of students. Tunnel, who is often seen out on the sandy beaches in a big hat, flip-flops, and colorful shirts, looking more like a tourist than a world-renowned researcher, helped develop two Bachelor of Science degree programs, along with four master degree and two doctoral programs. He can take credit for helping with the development of three university buildings, the Natural Resources Center, the Laguna Madre Field Station, and the Hart Research Institute as well as for an international coral reef ecology research and teaching program. Tunnel's classroom was often on a boat, his lectures done in scuba gear. His hands-on pursuit of higher knowledge led him to being honored as the university's first Fulbright Scholar in 1985-86 and the university's first Regents Professor in 1997. When he wasn't out in the field or in the classroom, Tunnel found time to write five books, about a hundred scientific publications, and edit two book series about the Gulf of Mexico. But it may be a project that began with a $46 million gift to the university from avid environmentalist Ed Hart that Dr. Tunnell will be remembered most for. In 2001, Tunnell was asked to help develop the Hart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies. Mr. Hart told Tunnell to make a difference, and he did, in the lives of every student he has taught and mentored. Today, the Hart Research Institute is the premier marine research facility on the Gulf of Mexico, and Dr. Wes Tunnell is its associate director and the endowed chair for biodiversity and conservation science. As Tunnell begins the next phase of his life, where he intends to spend more time with his wife and family and write more books, his love for the Gulf of Mexico will be reflected in the eyes of the students who have learned from him. And it is through them that his legacy at the Island University will live on.